United USA. Again, segment here, considering the news of the day. Uh, so th there's a decision expected at the Supreme Court, maybe this week on Tuesday, on Roe v. Wade. And groups have been descending on Washington, D.C., not just outside the court, as you know, but at the homes of individual justices. Well, one group, Rise Up for Abortion Rights, made up of high schoolers, maybe even younger than that, many of which came from New York City, uh, are now getting in front of Amy Coney Barrett's house. Here's a tweet with a video from that group saying, just arrived at Amy Coney Barrett's house, dropping off babies, reenacting the American nightmare of forcing girls to give birth against their will. Headed to the Supreme Court, meet us there. Uh, Lieutenant Governor, there's images we may show. Uh, it's, it's grotesque. It's, it's over the top. It's young girls. It's babies. It's blood. Uh, and it's intimidation of a Supreme Court justice. What do you make of all of this? This is our future. Uh, I, I just, first of all, before I go any further, want to say happy Father's Day to my father who brought me to this great country so many, many years ago when I was six years old and ha helped me to achieve the American dream. And then happy Father's Day to my husband who has given me our children and who has to put up with so much. And happy Father's Day to all of you. But imagine that. Uh, I, I have no words. I have no words when I see these grotesque images uh, that these young young girls are carrying and I wonder what country am I living in and what is the mindset what is the mindset that would cause this to happen and where are their parents and then I think to myself it must be that their parents feel the same and think the same as they do and don't they realize the irony of this the reason why you are here is because at some point your mother was pro-choice and that's why you, my dears, are here. Otherwise, you would not be. They don't see that. I'm telling you, our country is confused and it's grotesque. Yeah, Governor, I, I, I look at this, these images and I see confusion um, just as you do in them. First of all, they're carrying these babies, which is a reminder of what exactly we're talking about here. Um, but also we talked about valuing fatherhood, um, but also valuing what we are as women. I mean, a lot of these girls were carrying signs that said, um, you know, basically, I, I will not be forced to be an incubator. That's what they say about their gift, um, their life-giving gift as women and what they think of themselves. Um, thoughts on that? Well, here we go. Let's do the rundown. They say that men can have abortions and that was until I saw one of their signs that said, uh, if you don't have a uterus, you don't get to speak about anything. <laughs> and so it's like, well, which one is it? Uh, you know, what, what are we talking about? And then we have where the schools have been part of this indoctrination. And that's why I say school choice now. The money must follow the child and not the brick building. Children belong to us. I gave a speech last night where I talked about one of my favorite uh, programs, uh, the Borg. And, you know, the, the Borg says you will assimilate. You, you, the existence as you know it is over and resistance is futile. They're talking about our children. And we're, we're, we're not having it. You can't take our children. Our children belong to us. We I agree. And it should seem crystal clear at this point, black and white. I mean, the protection of life should seem uh, pretty common sense, but uh, apparently common sense is not so common nowadays. Obviously a controversial issue. Please, please, please like and share this video and comment below.